person don't talk about it noel is waking up and there's a lot going on so i just want to pipe you in we yeah, all took our naps and everything like that i've been having really late nights but i wanted to start off this vlog kind of talking about the girls eating habits noel's getting bigger and already eating rice and her milk that's because hold on so again Nala is eating her food. She just had hot dogs and prune baby food. But now I have made her kiwi that she didn't eat earlier and try to see if I can. Oh, this is a lot. Y'all are going in real life because I have to like hurry up because I don't want her prop too long. But I put her kiwi and a kiwi yogurt and banana baby food in this. So I'm hoping it works out because I really want her to eat those kiwi. She didn't want to eat it. So I'm going to try to put it in the ice cream form just with plain yogurt. I look like a total mom right now. This is crazy. Yeah, I just run this underwater until it loosens. Hmm. It looks pretty good actually. Look at this. It's banana at the bottom, the kiwis in the middle. This actually looks pretty good. Bruh, did y'all see me? I like totally forgot about you guys that fast. But anyway, right now, we're going on this little food challenge. So like I was saying with Noel, we already gotta put her on baby food. Now, I know I haven't really been vlogging and stuff like that cause I've just been focused on just dealing and catching up on videos and stuff like that. So Noel at this point of this video is two and a half months roughly. Um, and she is starting to really pick up weight. I don't know why she starts eating like every hour and a half roughly so she does have increments where she goes like two or three hours but mostly she eats every hour and a half so after going to see the doctor the doctor said try putting rice in her cereal to see if you can fill her up but some some babies um eat a lot in the beginning like the first four to five months and then they dissipate as they start to become more active so they said if she's hungry there's nothing you could do but feed her um just try to put it off but if she's crying and she wants it nothing else is satisfying her just feed her or whatnot so when we went to the doctor she was um 12 pounds nine ounces matter of fact let me pick her up so she's not eating one down But she has really become a big girl. Sorry, let me turn this off because she goes to sleep to this. So yeah, she has really become a, a, a beautiful, healthy, chunky chunk. You know what I'm saying? But she has gotten so big and it's so much bigger because y'all yeah, haven't really been seeing her. But yeah, she has gotten so big and she's become so healthy and so beautiful. Oh, uh, baby girl is getting so big, but 
yeah so like i said that's the only recommendation that they have is to give her a little bit of rice in her cereal and see if that like prolongs it now i've been doing this for about four days now and honestly i cannot tell if it is prolonged or not and really that's only because i haven't really been paying that close attention as i probably should have because i have been battling sleep acne or whatever you call it and then nala, nala has been going through a lot of of her fussy stages and in between that time i'm just feeding her when she's hungry so i told myself that i'm going to try to do today or starting tomorrow creating a time log of her eating and see if it is prolonged now honestly what i have noticed originally before going to the doctor is that she doesn't necessarily eat a lot she just eats often so she would eat roughly about an ounce and a half to two ounces at a time every once in a while it's like three ounces but she might do that every hour and 15 minutes so i think the frequency is what's getting her and not necessarily the amount so even at night she only wakes up like two times at night and that's it and she has about two ounces each of those times so the doctor did say that she was getting on a little bit of the bigger side of the average scale but um at the same time we only can keep an eye on it and hope that um things get better you want another one baby you want another one baby <laughs> Ain't no one else trying to poop. So it's yeah, she's trying to poop. It's been a struggle. Outside of that, she she mainly oh, I smell it. Let me go change her diaper. All right, so let's kind of start over because I feel like I was all over the place. It was a lot happening. Things are getting a little bit of best me. So let me just reiterate what I was talking about. So with Noelle, she is already eating the rice cereal because she's really starting to pick up weight basically. And even though she's not overweight, she's on tilting scale of becoming overweight if she keeps doing what she's currently have been doing. Now, it's a little bit weird because she doesn't eat a lot, but she eats often. So, even though at her weight she should be drinking four to five ounces at a time, she's drinking like an ounce and a half to two ounces every couple of feedings and maybe three ounces at a time. But um, she's doing that every like hour, hour and a half. So, for some reason for her, it's causing her to pick up weight a lot. So when we spoke with her doctor her doctor suggested to tr start trying rice cereal so that maybe that'll fill her up some like prolong the hunger and maybe she could start to drop weight a little bit her next appointment is not for another two months so she's currently two and a half months um and she weighs 12 pounds nine ounces now i remember when i had nala and this is not a comparison thing because every baby is different and everyone is different so i i wasn't really sure how much she was picking up the weight because i was going based off of nala so nala was about nine pounds at this point and she is 12 pounds almost 13 pounds but the doctor just said you know if she's hungry there's really nothing we can do about it there are some kids that eats often and then they like kind of spread out at, at four or five months or whatever they start to kind of drop in weight as they get more active and used to stuff that honestly does make me slightly i'm not gonna say nervous but i remember them saying that about nala and she never really change your eating habits but granted nala doesn't even eat a lot nala just started drinking eight nine ounces bottles or whatever at a time not even that i would say more like six seven with her they said let's try this now like i was trying to attempt to say earlier i don't know if she's been doing better or not 
because you see how things are it's kind of like all over the place and then once i get chill moments or whatever i just like we all rest and stuff like that but it's hard to say too because they want to see her drink like 24 or 20 something ounces a day and technically she is doing that but for whatever reason she is gaining more weight than not on the average because she's still on the average scale but she's on a higher up she's almost overweight but it's okay we're gonna deal with it regardless i'm a lover but i'm not gonna starve her like i'm not gonna do that if she's hungry i'm gonna have her eat because she's already not eating a lot so this goes to show that it's not really about what you eat all the time. I don't know, that's a little bit of update, but outside of eating habits, um, she had got um, probably about three shots on her last appointment. I can't tell you what shots it was. It's a lot harder to film nowadays because of the whole corona thing. So there's, I'm not gonna contaminate my camera bringing it out around these people. So, also she is starting to come out of newborn sizes. She's starting to go into zero to three months, like the small zero to threes. She still can fit newborns, but she's starting to, like, okay, it's starting to get small. Um, so I do plan on doing a decluttering, organizing video again because I have to go all through the clothes because I didn't expect to start going out of newborns already. Yeah, so I want to kind of go through all the clothes, all the closets, and um, start getting rid of stuff that um, Noelle can't fit. I'm not gonna say both girls because whatever Nala can't fit, Noelle will fit, so eventually. Outside of that, baby girl is starting to coo. Not often, but she's starting to. I heard a little bit sounds the other day, so I think in the next couple of weeks we should expect hearing more noises she also is starting to smile a little bit more voluntarily because you know babies have that involuntary smiles but if speaking to at the right time often enough she will smile um we don't still do much on uh, tummy time it's not in her criteria yet it's not in her vocabulary you know what i'm saying she's not about that life right now um but that's okay whenever time we put her in the little, um, what you call it? A worm chair. It's like a sit-up thing. So we start doing that. I'm really interested in how we're going to be able to start dealing with some of the sitting up and all that. Because Nala still wants to drag her. So we can't have that happen. But that is pretty much it for all the update that is baby girl. You want to say hi to the people? Say hi. <gasps> Say boop, boop, boo. <laughs> but yeah. So outside of that, I am trying to get. I'm trying to get Nala to eat some of this baby food. Now, I know she will be eating whatever Nala doesn't eat, but we need to create Space, you know what I'm saying because you know I need to start getting back on my coupon and stuff as stuff start to open back up and that becomes a thing and I want her to eat some prunes and the only way to do that is disguise that and have prune baby food and all kind of other baby food that can help regulate her because she is going through it so I was told also by the doctor that um, because they both have the same doctor uh, that I can give both girls a little bit of Mar Marilax to help regulate bowel movements and stuff like that. So it definitely works for Nala. I don't really do it much with Noel because I'm just a little bit afraid and I need to call him and tell, ask him uh, how much is allowed for Noel. So I have been buying a lot of stuff to try to get her to eat this. What's wrong? It's almost her nap time. You getting sleepy? You getting sleepy? So I had bought some reusable baby pouch bag in hopes to get Nala to eat some of the baby food. If it's funny to eat, she might eat it. I only tried it today. So I have to mix up some baby food. I also have to make so I need to make her some baby food, so I'm gonna mix some of the fruits and stuff together to disguise the prunes. 
also to try to get rid of it. I need to make some more of those little yogurt popsicles. And what else else can I do? I have some old ban bananas that are going old, so I kind of want to mix that up with the baby food and try to make some pouches. So that's the only agenda. Nala is 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 a champion. She is really getting this walking thing really really down pat. She is going into 18 months, so yeah. But I want to create a separate video on really updating you on her. So let me put Nala down and then I'll come back to you guys when I am making her baby food and I'm just hoping for the best with that. All right, y'all. Anyway, it is quite a while later since I last picked up you guys. It is 1.22 in the morning. It is really early in the morning and this is not something I normal. I am usually up pretty late. Let me wipe the lens. This is the time that I usually edit, get stuff done, clean and all that stuff, type of stuff after I have my little me time because usually during the day I don't have any personal time as you can see in the clips before until David gets home. So once he got home, he kind of took over. I ran some errands. Then I came back and kind of rested all the way up until this point. I, w I just got finished eating and I just got finished making me some coffee and I was about to do a little bit more editing when I thought like, hey, let me try to just get this baby food stuff done. So I'm gonna start off by trying to figure out this whole banana situation. Now this is the bananas. I don't know if this is bad or not. I'll know once I open it. But the goal is to mush this up, mix it up with the yogurt, as well as like some of this other baby food and see how this goes. This is the old thing that I need to actually clean. So yeah, I'm gonna put the bananas in here if it don't look too bad in the other baby food and then make some pouches and um, some freezer popsicles. So let's get to that. Still look fine to me. Worst case scenario, it's not. I'm not quite comfortable with other bananas. I'm cool off those. Uh, just do this one and start mixing some baby food in with and yogurt. Let's get some. So what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna put a few of these in the refrigerator for quick access, like four of them, and the rest of them I'll probably put in the freezer and then defrost them later. Like 